Good morning guys. I'm doing something very exciting today. Also, I definitely have morning voice. It's 8 o'clock in the morning right now. Oh my god, it's like kind of raspy and sexy, but also I kind of hate it. I can't really decide if I'm like obsessed or if I should just stop talking. But today is very exciting. I'm having my headshots done. I have a lot of stuff coming up that I need headshots for. There's going to be like TV appearances and articles written about me and just different things that I need like a professional photo and not an Instagram selfie for. So today my friend Sarah Crick, she's an amazing photographer and it's honestly such charity work that she's doing this for me today. Sarah has shot BB Rexa, Madeline Klein, Mandy Moore, Alex Cooper, like so many big celebrities and so I'm so grateful that she's doing me a favor and taking some headshots for me I'm so nervous obviously I'm on camera with like vlogs and YouTube and things like that but I'm by myself so it's like a little less intimidating there's one of my friends so it's like not that awkward but like it's awkward I, I don't want to pose and be all but I'm getting ready right now we're doing our shots at 11 and I get stressed when I'm getting ready so I woke up extremely early and then I'm gonna go over to Haley's house and Haley's gonna curl my hair for it yesterday as you guys know I got my hair colored with Alex and it looks so good but I went to a like beach movie premiere last night for the kissing booth and my hair got like a little frizzy and it's just like not styled great anymore obviously Alex killed it but it just like the wind and just everything kind of messed it up and I'm not great at curling my hair so Haley's gonna work her magic I have had like such a little pampering last few days for this photo it's insane I got my nails done look at how cute these are a girl named gorgeous nails did them and I'm obsessed she's based in Burbank if you guys are looking for a new nail girl she's really great with designs and really reasonable prices as well I got a spray tan the other day with glow by flow who's amazing she has the cutest accent I'm just like so obsessed with her I got my eyebrows laminated and my lashes lifted I have been getting so much done in preparation for these photos because they're photos that I'm gonna use for years you know I'm excited I'm nervous let's see how it goes I'm gonna do my makeup now I just got done with my makeup and I really like how it turned out sometimes when I do my own makeup it's like so hit or miss because most of the time I really don't take the time to actually sit do my makeup I typically do my makeup in like 10 minutes but today I took a lot more time a little TLC I did my makeup today as if I were doing one of my clients I am currently picking out an outfit right now to wear for the photos which is honestly like the hardest part so I'm gonna show you guys my options so far okay my first outfit is just this black turtleneck because I feel like that's like classy typical headshot whatever and then my second option that I have is this brown bodysuit from Zara that I've been really obsessed with lately just this suit jacket and it's kind of like that gray with like a little bit of like brown hints so I feel like those work really well together but I'm also trying to think of something really fun to do because I am kind of known as like the Gen Z TikTok makeup artist I feel like a lot of my clients are TikTokers influencers they're pretty much all Gen Z for the most part and I feel like I've really marketed off of that as being like the Gen Z influencer or makeup artist girl and so I think that it could be really fun to kind of tie that in and like obviously right now the funky nails are super in so I think that'll be really cute with my outfit I have these really cute little Ian charms necklaces they're like the beaded necklaces that are super trendy right now and I feel like it could be really cute to wear those in some of the photos but I'm not sure which outfit I would wear that with if so because I feel like that'd look weird with a turtleneck but I honestly don't want so much of my chest showing just because I have big boobs and I don't want like cleavage or anything because these are supposed to be like very professional photos obviously so I'm not sure I might bring them and just see what the photographer has to say I need to change my jewelry right now so let's go do that I have some really fun rings that I got recently obviously Cartier ring and then I got these really cute little like smiley face and flower rings from Fraser Sterling and I'm obsessed with those and then these are the Ian Charms necklaces that I was talking about this one has Justin Bieber's mugshot on it so I feel like that's not like the most professional to wear in headshots so I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't do that one but here's another one that I have from her and it's just like really cute little beads and a smiley face dice eight ball like just really fun and funky and I feel like these are just so in right now today's actually a pretty busy day too obviously I have headshots with Sarah this morning and then I'm doing Tana's makeup for her podcast and then tonight is one of my good friends Alex's birthday so we're gonna go to a cute little dinner at Craig's and get Ting's hot girl summer and just do all of that I've never been to Craig's if you guys are unfamiliar 
here and don't live in LA, Craig's is like a steakhouse in West Hollywood, Beverly Hills area. And it's supposedly the Kardashians' favorite restaurant and like Leonardo DiCaprio and like all of these really AA list celebrities. And apparently every time you go, you like see someone famous. I've never been, but I have heard the food's incredible and I'm dying to try it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna spend all my money there tonight, so. Brands, if you want to sponsor these videos, let me know. I feel like I really match my car today. I'm about to go get my hair done by Haley, and of course, I'm stopping at Starbucks on the way because a girl always needs her Starbucks. And also, I started doing this thing recently where I go to Starbucks and then I'll put like 50 or like 75 bucks or whatever on like the Starbucks app. So that way, it's like I'm getting free drinks for like weeks on weeks, which is really doesn't make sense and like I'm definitely still spending money it's just like all at once versus every day so I don't know if that makes sense or not maybe that's just like a me thing what oh thank you <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable right now and she just told me that she would marry me for free Starbucks she also told me that I deserve better than that so I don't know <laughs> I'm a little confused it also seems like I'm not the only one that she's yelling at. A bitch is cheating already. These unfaithful hoes, let me tell you. You guys are gonna laugh at my Starbucks order also. I found the Starbucks order on TikTok and ever since I found it, I have been so obsessed. I'm sure it's literally one of the worst drinks that you can get from Starbucks, um, calorie wise and just like sugar wise and everything, but I'm telling you, it is crack. A venti shaken espresso, with white chocolate mocha, sweet cream shaken in, caramel drizzle, and oat milk. As you can see, very complicated order. I think they put extra caramel drizzle in today and it looks so fucking good. Today's gonna be a good day, guys. I just, I feel it. Haley's queen. If you guys ever need a hairstylist in LA, hit up Haley. Thank you. <laughs> it looks, it looks so good. I'm obsessed. You have like my dream hair. I could never do this to myself. I like want you to teach me sometime. Haley just finished my hair and it looks so good. I feel like a 90s supermodel. Wow. I also feel like I hate this outfit because I look like a mom, but oh yeah, no, I <laughs> literally look like the teacher photo shoot. Yeah. Haley's you better work. Yes, mom. Stop watching me. <laughs> oh, God. I'm thinking, how long am I going to work with that damn light flash in my face? These are so cute. Yeah, actually, really good. I just got done doing my headshots, and they honestly turned out so good. I was so anxious, so nervous. Just I'm fine being in front of the camera whenever it's for like vlogs or photos that I'm taking, but anytime someone else takes photos of me, I get so uncomfortable for some reason. I think it's just like, it's awkward, right? Especially, obviously, she's like an insane photographer and shoots so many celebrities and models, people that actually know what they're doing in front of the camera. And I'm like, where do I put my hands? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> like, I think it ended up turning out so good. I'm so excited to get these back. Sarah's insane. You guys should definitely go follow her if you guys aren't following her already. I also just have to say, I'm so lucky that I have so many incredible creatives in my corner supporting me. And you guys should definitely follow all of them because I'm telling you guys, they are the best in the industry. So good, so talented, so incredible. My spray tanner is Glow by Flow. My nail girl was Gorgeous Nails. Alex colored my hair, Haley Heckman styled my hair today, Lisa Brows and Beauty did my brow lamination and my lash lift. Also, I feel like this is such a vibe right now, just a black bodysuit with this orange zip-up hoodie from Aritzia. You guys already know my obsession with Aritzia. My Ian Charms necklace that I'm obsessed with and my cute little nail art, like this is... She's a legend and she is the moment. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> Kat thinks I'm so funny and it really it just really boosts did. my confidence every time I'm around her. We're on our way to Newport right now to go to an event for Twyla Fine Jewelry, which I'm really excited for. Their pieces are so cute. We're in our lift now. We got our Starbucks. Now we have a two hour drive with our new best. <laughs> 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 I'm 
by Bessie, she means the driver. In case you were wondering. What's your Starbucks order? Tell the people. Oh, y'all need this? Three shots of blonde espresso on ice. I usually get two, but because we're doing a road trip. Um, I like how <laughs> we're calling this a road trip, going from LA County to the next county. But like, it really is a road trip. Like, it really is so far. Two um, shots of blonde espresso on ice, okay? With vanilla, okay. in a grande cup, with vanilla sweet cream cold foam to the top. She raves about this all the time on I TikTok. Do. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> it's not bad. This drink, bitch. You're gonna be like, this try. is so fucking Let me sweet. Try. Oh, I like it. I'm probably gonna shit my pants after this. <laughs> <laughs> my body doesn't like regular milk. Hey, wait, why are you drinking regular milk? You should have got almond. She was out of oat milk. I don't like almond. Soy. <laughs> we just got to dinner. We're eating at Big and Olive tonight in Newport, and the vibes are truly immaculate. It's so cute here. We just ordered drinks, and we're looking at the dinner menu right now. My hot date, but this place is so cute. I'm like obsessed. If you guys are ever in Newport, definitely check it out. I got a Cosmigo soda with extra lime. So when a bitch says extra lime, she means extra lime. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god, this looks so good. So we got something chocolate. I'm not sure exactly what. But Some sort of chocolate mousse sitch it sounded like. Honestly, if you don't get chocolate dessert, you're done. Honestly, the apple tart sounded really good yeah, too. Yeah, I didn't. I make the best apple pies. Do you? This is oh my god, time. yes. No, I make the best apple pies. It has a little crumble. Listen, fall's coming up. Fall baking starts yes. this weekend. <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> I watch way too many TikToks. <laughs> this weekend, bitch, apple pie, baby. Okay, she's saying Very good. My favorite dessert, personally, is ice cream. Okay. A little Andy's frozen custard action. If you know, you know. That's my Midwest really coming out. So we're trying on Rolexes at the event right now. Look at how rich I look. I don't deserve to be here. Look at her. I would literally walk around like this all the time. You want to propose 